Good evening, I'm Michael Hudak, and here is your look at the day in sports. The last few weeks have been interesting for the New York Yankees, to say the least. Four-game win streak versus Boston and Tampa put them within three games of the wild card. Then they drop two straight to Toronto, so they head to Anaheim six games out. And then they play 17 innings of shutout baseball over two games. But could they complete the sweep? Bottom first, Chad Green on the hill. Andrelton Simmons single to left. Play at the plate. That will plate. Albert Pujols and the Angels are up by one right off the bat. Chad Green settled down, though. Gets Mike Trout swinging there. Six innings, five hits, five strikeouts. Then Pujols, bottom fit. That's right off his bat. And remember the catch Gardner made last night to rob a home run? Jacoby Ellsbury does the same exact thing. But the Yankees were the ones who came up empty. 2-0 in the final from the West Coast. After snapping a three-game losing streak yesterday, the Mets looking to split the series with the Giants tonight on Sunday Night Baseball. That'll feature Noah Syndergaard facing off against Jeff Samarja. As for yesterday, the Mets got a much-needed spark from someone they hope will carry them for the rest of the season. Out since the 4th of August, that's Joanna Cespedes. He was activated off the DL Friday, but was a no-show in an 8-1 loss that night. How'd he fare yesterday? Well, almost everything he hit was fair, and fairly that's gone. 443 feet to center field, 3-0. Top seven, I think the quad is fine. His second homer of the game, 24th of the year, putting in work like it's a 9-5. The Mets won 9-5. Final day of Olympic competition in Rio, but before the closing ceremonies, one last piece of unfinished business for the United States men's basketball team as they face Serbia in the gold medal game. USA would win their third consecutive gold medal by a final of 96 to 66. Carmelo Anthony becomes the team USA's all-time leader in Olympic games, points, rebounds, and gold medals. USA has won 121 medals. That's 51 more than any other nation. They had 46 gold, Great Britain and China rounding out the top three. September is nearing and so too is football season, but that may concern Giants fans after a beatdown yesterday in Buffalo. Just 166 total yards, nearly 20 minutes less possession time than the Bills, and four turnovers in a 21-0 loss. Big Blue was a boo-hoo, and they've got work to do. So does Ben McAdoo. No, what we practice needs to show up on, on game day, and it hasn't been. We've been sloppy with penalties, uh, haven't been taking care of the ball very well. Uh, I don't think uh, I need to say much to the players. I think uh, they have a lot of pride, and I believe they'll bounce back. Now, a healthy Victor Cruz could help jumpstart the Giants' offense. When could that be expected? Well, Cruz is scheduled for an individual workout tomorrow. He hopes to practice with the team on Thursday and possibly get some playing time shortly thereafter. Giants unimpressive yesterday. The Jets haven't played much better through two games, but they don't seem too concerned. They were back at camp today, joined by a special guest. This young lady was brought down from the stands by receiver Brandon Marshall to help in warm-ups. Hey, I guess the Jets could use all the help they could get. The Giants lead the all-time series 8-5. Well, the New York Red Bulls have yet to clinch a playoff spot. Third in the Eastern Conference, 10-6-9 record, 36 points in all. Today, they renewed their rivalry with D.C. United. After an hour-long rain delay, let's kick it. 39th minute, it's still a little slick on the field, and oh no! It gets by Sean Franklin and Mike Grella, one-timer. Bradley Wright Phillips, 1-0, New York. 2-1 Red Bulls in the 73rd minute, Patrick Mullins, the header, and we are tied. Two goals in four minutes for D.C. The game would end in a 2-2 tie. That's your look at sports. I'm Michael Hudak.